Hey there, what's up? In this super insightful training, I'm going to show you how to present multiple upsell offers on one page so that your buyers feel more in control of their decision and your average order value soars. We'll do that using Upstroke 2.0 and Elementor. Also along the way, I'll share with you some really nifty copywriting tactics that you can deploy right away. So what are you waiting for? Just grab a cup of coffee and keep watching. Before I begin, I actually wanted to share the results of a store owner, of a WooCommerce store owner who is using Upstroke and uh, interestingly, uh, you know, where others zig, where others actually show just one offer on one page, he zagged and showed multiple offers uh, on one page, which is why he's got stellar results like these. So it's a fairly new store and they have already done uh, $172 worth of upsells in the last seven days alone. And uh, out of 16 times their offers were shown, six times they were accepted, which is a whopping upsell conversion rate of 31.58%. Now you must understand that it's a fairly new store. So they've done sales worth of $641, out of which, uh, that's $641 in the last seven days, out of which 172 has come from upsells, from Upstroke alone, and which means that Upstroke has contributed about, in fact, actually more than 25% to their overall revenue, which is quite amazing, right? And it actually busts a lot of myths. So, uh, you know, people would say that one needs a lot of sales to, to uh, start thinking about one-click upsells or post-purchase upsells, but, well, um, that's not true, really. Even if you have small number of sales, you can still do that. And another common myth is that, um, uh, you know, you need to create a lot of upsell offers to make any significant revenue uh, from your upsells. Again, that myth stays busted because they have just one upsell offer and uh, they are actually converting at a high uh, 35% with, uh, or that's 32% with, with that just one upsell offer. And that's because they are using the multi-product add-on of Upstream. All right, so without further ado, let me show you the page uh, that I've created inspired by their upsell page. So, well, this is uh, this is the page and here is the product. And uh, there is uh, some copy here to actually sell the product uh, and a little bit of demo that you could have. And finally, here are the three compelling offers. So they can, uh, the user can either buy a pack of one or a pack of three or a pack of five. And uh, they can simply click on one of these buttons and instantly add uh, the offer to their order, right? Um, so that's, and those are the savings which are listed here, how much they save uh, by, uh, by purchasing one of these offers. So that's uh, what you've got. And um, well, now I'm going to quickly take you behind the scenes and show you how you can set this up using Upstroke 2.0 and the multi-product add-on. Well, so let's quickly get started. All right, so in order to set that page up, here's what you have to do. First of all, you go into rules and then you select a rule. Now, uh, just for the sake of convenience, I've selected all products, but you're free to uh, select the specific product uh, on which you would like to show this as uh, the upsell offer. So once you've uh, selected the rule, uh, you simply go and save the rule and then you go into the offer section. So now if you're creating uh, three different offers with the same product, so if what you're doing uh, is that you're, you're actually giving them incentive on buying a higher volume, then what you have to do is that you have to select the same product uh, three times or four times based on how many offers you are creating. So this is the product. Now here we're offering 10% off uh, when they buy just one. So since this is a variable product, you will see that all the variations of this product will uh, sort of pop up like this. And uh, uh, you must select all these variants if you want them to be visible on, um, on the upsell page. So if you want to show them in the drop down, then you must select all uh, these variations. And then you've got this, the discount. So the moment you're gonna set a discount here, uh, you know, it's going to appear on all these uh, variants as well, right? And then this is your second offer. So the quantity is three and the discount is 33.33%. Again, uh, so since again, it's a variable product, so you've got all uh, these variations and the discount has got uh, set up uh, equally on all uh, the different variants. And uh, similarly, this is the third offer. So that's a 40% off and the quantity is five. 
So when you are selecting a new product, you simply have to go and add new product and you will be able to select the product here and uh, uh, you know that product will uh, show up here and then you have to create offers around it. So once you've done that, you're just going to go hit save offer and then we're going to move into the design section. And now when you go into the design section, you'll actually find uh, you know three tabs here. The first one is customizer, then it's elementor and then it's a custom page where you can actually uh, paste a link to a custom page. Now in Elementor, you will have the option to build from scratch. So if you want to actually start from scratch for, from a blank page, you can choose this option. Otherwise, you've got a, a, you know, a bunch of pre-made templates and you can pick any one of these. Now here you've got multi-product grid format and multi-product list format. So this is two column and this is three column. Now you must notice that this will only be visible, uh, this will actually be visible to you, but this will only work uh, if you have the multi-product add-on uh, installed and activated. Now uh, for this case, I'm going to select uh, this template and when you uh, hit import and yes, import this template, uh, then uh, what will happen is that this template will get imported in Elementor and then you'll have the option to customize it. Now when you go into Elementor you'll actually find out that you will have a, you know, a basic template already set up. So based on the product that you selected you will have uh, these three columns ready. Now what I have done is that here I've uploaded a, a different image. So it basically picked up the image from my native WooCommerce product page and uh, the same image showed up in all the three columns but I just changed this to three Three, uh, you know, a pack of three and a pack of five just to represent uh, the offer uh, well. So you will have some basic copy written here, such as this, which says pick one of these offers and pocket instant savings of up to and this will be a hard coded text so in my case it was 40% so that's what I have written here. Uh, you'll also see that the accept buttons uh, will, will pop up here and uh, since it's a variable product these variations will show up here as well. Now these are some of the edits that I have made and I will quickly uh, run you through them and I'll show you how I have done that um, then all these payment uh, payment icons and all of this will uh, will also appear automatically plus you will have some dummy copy here which you can always edit so you will have some bullet points here which uh, you know you can you can write your own uh, set of bullet points and uh, this button right here which takes them back to this multi product grid and um, also uh, some copy here again some dummy copy here which you can again edit and make this your own. All right, so now we're in Elementor. Now let me show you how you can do some of the basic customizations to make the page look gorgeous and convert high. So first of all, uh, we've got this section here, which is a basic two column section uh, in Elementor. It's an inner section. So this is the text side and this is the image side. Now for the image side, I've actually used uh, this upstroke powered widget, which is, uh, which is offer images. Let me edit this and show it to you. So here is offer product image images. Now, uh, that's the product we're talking about and the slider is enabled here so one can interact with the images. So that's the, uh, so, so that's the offer images uh, uh, widget. And then this copy was already written, which is pick one of these offers and pocket instant savings of up to. And then I wrote this 40% here manually. Uh, right, and this offer is time sensitive and only available for the next few minutes, which is actually true. And then we've got buy one, save, save 10%. So here is actually, um, you know, uh, here there's a section for writing your headline. Now, in this case, uh, you know, I am offering them a discount of 10% when they buy one pack, and that's buy two, get one free is my next offer, followed by buy three, get two free. So here there's a sub headline, uh, you know, so there's space for that as well. So here I'm saying lock your 15 weeks of supply at 33% off. Now this makes for a rather compelling case. Here is the variation selector. Now this is the offer variation selector, another uh, widget uh, of Upstroke in Elementor. This will appear automatically because this is a variable product. So all the variations will appear. So here, this is the pricing widget. Again, an interesting uh, widget. I've done some uh, modifications here, some uh, customizations here. So here's what you can do. You can say regular price colon and then some space and the regular price will then appear. Uh, based on whatever it is added in your WooCommerce native. Uh, then here is the deal price based on whatever discount you've set up in uh, uh, in Upstroke, right? So that regular price will appear. And uh, so you can actually turn on stacked from here so that it appears one below the other. And you also have the option to change the typography. So you can change the, uh, the font size, the font colors for both for label as well as for the price. 
Uh, so um, then here you've got this short code. It says you save and then the short code here. So when you click here to show the available short code, you'll see all the short codes. All the personalization short codes are actually down below. So you'll have to scroll a bit. That's for first name and all of that. But in this case, we want uh, to, uh, you know, we want to show, we want to display the percentage uh, of savings uh, 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 they're going to make and also uh, show the savings in absolute number. So this is for offer number one this is for offer number two and this is for offer number three uh, so you can simply copy this and uh, paste it here and the right savings in absolute number as well as in percentage will appear here so that's about it if you have any questions please do let me know in the comment box uh, below and um, let me know what's stopping you from uh, using the multi-product add-on and creating multiple uh, upsell offers and presenting them on the same page considering it is so effective and it has an instant uh, effect on your bottom line so thank you so much for watching i will see you in my next video that was it um but yes of course let's carry the conversation forward on in the comment section i'll see you next time